Well, we're alive now. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, no one's joined yet. All right. I guess we'll wait. Three seconds. Well, since they get saved, might as well. You can always delete it. I don't know. I guess we'll start talking. <laughs> hey guys, um, I'm Nick. I am the community manager here at BoomSky slash support customer success. Um, been here for about two years now. Um, if chances are, if you shot an email to us, you've talked to me or in like the Facebook group or whatnot. Um, yeah, I think the best part uh, is interacting with all of you, you know, kind of make the day a little bit less monotonous. Very fun. Um, I just want to introduce a new team member, um, Mike, who's joining our customer success team. I wanted to say hello. <laughs> yeah, 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 you can talk to Matt yourself. This so, is a casual thing. Uh, I'll be, uh, Do you want to sit? Yeah. No, I got to sit. <laughs> Sorry. So I'll be help, helping out with uh, customer support. Um, Help it out, Nick. Since uh, some of you have spoken with James, I'll be replacing him as far as the position goes. Um, not sure what to say. Yeah, he's about. still here, though. James is still here. Yeah, he's still here. <laughs> Doing bigger, better things. Yeah, you can, you can still get a hold of him if you really want to. Um, but yeah, and uh, and Shu, do you want to introduce yourself as well? Uh. Okay, my name is Wen Xiu San. I'm a new meteorologist here at Boom, at Boom Sky. Uh, before joining, okay, before joining Boom Sky, I uh, finished my postdoc work at Cornell University, uh, and um, it's my pleasure to join this big family. Um, yeah, our device is really cool. <laughs> yeah. We're glad to have you guys join us. I see we have one person watching us. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Let us know if you have any questions. We also questions. have our uh, backend engineer. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say something? Yeah, do you want to say hello? Um, they're kind of shy, I guess, you know. Not part of the community thing. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Yang, yeah, say something. Hi, I'm Yang. Work in Boom Sky as a backend engineer. I'm responsible for other API development for our devices and the mobile app. Yeah. Oh, and, and John, I guess. You guys don't have to. Stay. Hey guys, I'm John. Uh, I'm doing uh, web application development in uh, Boom Sky, including our dashboard or uh, a map and uh, our official website. Yeah. Yeah, so those guys you won't really be talking too much. It'd be mostly me and um, Mike, you know. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I made a post a couple of days ago, um, seeing if anyone had any questions that I wanted to talk about here today. Um, and I think the first one is from Ben. He said, will there be a Sky 3 that does not need to be physically touched to troubleshoot or to power on or off? Um, we don't have a lot of information on the Sky 3 yet, at least um, officially. But that is one of the biggest um, concerns I see from a lot of people. Um, I personally think it's a, a great idea if you wanna, because um, we're putting them in high places, so uh, it just makes sense to have the on, off, or reset remote. So, um, yeah, great question, Ben, you know. Um, Bernie, Bernie is my next question. Um, when will weather underground get gust readings? So I just spoke to my engineer about this. Um, it'll be about two weeks time before he can um, have another chance to look at weather underground and kind of refine it. Um, but I did speak with him uh, particularly about that issue. So um, yeah, I would say, you know, two weeks or so, we'll go ahead and check up on him again and, um, 
We'll see if we can get that resolved for you. Um, it's from Bernie. Um, Barton had a few questions. Um, I think the first is when will UV ratings uh, read properly in Weather Underground? Um, that one, I guess, also falls into the last question. It'll be about two weeks before we, um, he's got a little bit of time to, to look into it. So, so um, feel free to email me, you know, support at bloomsky.com if you, if you did want to, to remind me, you know, nothing wrong with poking me and letting me know. Um, so when will, next question from Barton was, when will mobile rain alerts show thumbnails of the cam instead of gray square? Um, we're actually currently discussing this feature right now. So <laughs> you're very timely. Um, so it should hopefully be re resolved pretty quickly. Um, and then the last one from Barton was, when will the dashboard show rain rate, rainfall, wind speed every five minutes? Um, so that you can actually do if you select one day um, in the a user dashboard. So if you head over to uh, dashboard.bloomsky.com um, and go to your data view with the uh, storm, you can actually select one day and I'll show you, um, I think it's every 30 seconds. It'll show you a reading, is that right? No. Yeah, so every 30 seconds it'll come up. Just make sure you head into the, the user dashboard. I don't know if everyone knows about it, but should head over, check it out, dashboard.flimsky.com, log in with your information. Um, and the last question's from GeoJet. Any plans for all-in-one sky storm unit or 5 bridge, 5G bridge to eliminate the dongle? Um, that's also similar to the top one about Sky 3. We don't have a lot of information yet. Still developing. Um, also, really, really great idea. Um, we've heard that one before too, so um, hopefully we do get to, to integrate that into our, our newest our newest device. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully soon. Yeah, also don't hesitate. Reach out to us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you know, email even if you'd like. Um, and I don't know if any of you guys have any questions. I know there's a couple of you before we we sign off. I don't know. Amazon Alexa. Hey Eric, how's it going? When are you going to have better integration with Amazon Alexa? Maybe where you can see a picture on the show. Um, that would be something I would need to discuss with the same um, engineer that actually works on Weather Underground. So. Um, it depends, I guess, where the priority falls. I think it'd be Weather Underground first, then Amazon Alexa. So it might be after that two-week mark again. Um, but I don't know if is that something you can easily. I think Alexa is uh, audio in interaction, right? Audio so interaction. How how we could uh, post it like a yeah, where you pictures. can see a picture on the show. What do you mean? Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess we can. Expand on that further, Eric, if you'd like. Um, maybe where you can see a picture on the show, uh, by what you mean by that. Um, you mean like on your TV or? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Anyone else have any other questions? And also feel free to email us as well. Uh, I know uh, it's kind of odd asking questions on a live video. It's <laughs> if you're um, but yeah, support at bloomsky.com. You know, you could always email your suggestions or wish list or anything for the for the app. Perhaps anyone have any suggestions for the app? Um, there's a lot of stuff going on back there, just not um, released yet. So um, we've been talking about it a lot and improving. Original sky, not read temperature anymore. Would need a reason. Um, no, uh, the simplest troubleshoot for the sky um, would be just a simple power cycle. So you would just hold down the, the power button um, for you know one or two seconds and then uh, power it off and then <laughs> and then um, it should reset the, the sensors. So the, the temperature sensor would or should report correctly after that. Um, if not, 
then you would have to shoot us an email. Um, so yeah, that'd be the, that'd be the thing. Does your product always depend on solar panel? No. So, um, the, the storm, I would say is a little bit more dependent on the, on the solar panel. Um, but the sky, you can actually just power up and, and charge from the wall. If you charge it for about five, five to six hours, it should last about a week, a week and a half before it, before it runs out. Um, and that was a good question, Adrian. Um, not always. Um, I would say storm a little bit more so. Um, sky, you can just charge up, stick it outside. After a week, a week and a half, bring it back inside, charge it, hopefully at night, so you don't miss any time lapses. Yeah. Ah, no problem at all, Matt. And same. Um, anyone else have any other questions? All right, just wanted to introduce myself, put a face to the name, because you know, I'm always on that um, user group talking to you guys, or if you even post a comment on our Facebook, that's usually me. So um, just wanted to say hey and uh, make myself more visible to you all um, and just introduce the team. We'll probably be doing these, you know, every two weeks or so. Um, if you guys wanted to pop in and say hello or ask any quick questions, that would be really cool. Um, but if not, we'll, we're always on, you know, Twitter or I'm always on Twitter and Instagram and uh, those kinds of things. If you had any questions, uh, you can ask them in any avenue. <laughs> Bloom Sky Swag. Ah, and you like the, uh, the North Face jacket, huh, Bill? <laughs> you know, I do have some stuff. Um, no shirts or jackets, unfortunately. You know, this is, this might be a crew member only type thing. Um, but maybe in the future, I know we had some t-shirts a while ago <laughs> and some frisbees, but, um, you know, uh, we might be able to work something out, Bill. <laughs> if you want to shout us out on Instagram or something, might be able to send you over a pair of cool sunglasses. You know, summer's coming. It's spring now, warming up, as you probably know from your boom sky. <laughs> See if anyone else has any questions before we sign off here. I don't want to run this over too long and kind of have too much empty space. Did you answer the question about mm -hmm. always depend on the solar panel? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yep, I do know that, Bill. I've always seen your name in the in, um, in the inbox, so. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. I like that video. <laughs> so I guess um, if no one else has any other questions, I'll go ahead and end our, our first live video here. Um, oh, thanks a lot, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we like it too. It's kind of what makes us uh, unique among the the weather weather industry you know um i think a lot of people ask for for like photo customization or like just the time lapse customization and that's something i totally love to see come to fruition um it's just not uh, it's a storage thing you know it's a lot of images so um, um maybe in the future when we have a little bit more storage we'd be able to customize that that time lapse, but um, at the moment, not yet. And now, thank you for your support, Bill. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Um, like I said, if you guys ever had any questions, feel free to drop by the Bloom Sky user group or um, email me support at bloomsky.com. Twitter, Instagram. I'd say email is the fastest way that I'll see it, um, but. Um, other than that, um, I guess I'll be running these every couple of weeks here. Um, oh, do we have any new products coming out? Not yet. They're in development, um, but not a ton of information yet, Matthew. Uh, so, but, but they're coming. Um, 
you know, uh, I can't remember if it's um, Sky 3 or, or Storm or something that's going to be coming out soon. Um, but, but they are definitely working on it. Um, nothing, I don't have a lot of detail on them. So I, I don't want to like, you know, give that out and, and let you know, you know, and give you false information or something. So, oh, thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping in, Adrian. And yeah, it would be awesome for a time lapse at night. Um, but yep, um, I'm gonna go head back to my desk now and see if anyone needs any any help on on Twitter or Instagram. You know, if you did need to reach me there, I'll, I'll be there. Um, you know, give me a buzz if you need to. Um, but otherwise, it was great chatting with you all. Uh, I'll see you in like let's say two weeks, perhaps. Um, in any case, see you later. See you guys. Have a good one. <laughs>